Hey, what's going on guys? Luis here and gaming laptops have been getting really, really popular lately and you could actually buy a good gaming rig for less than $1,000, which is something that you couldn't do about five years ago. So it's pretty exciting to see how gaming laptops and their hardware has been matching up to desktop performance and it's been getting cheaper and cheaper every year. So without any further ado, here's my top five recommendations for a gaming laptop under a thousand bucks for 2018. So at number five, we have the Acer Aspire VX15. So despite being the cheapest laptop on my list, the Acer Aspire VX15 is a very impressive rig with a lot of power. The processor is not a top of the line i7, but it is still a seventh generation laptop CPU from Intel and has more than enough speed for both gaming as well as productivity tasks such as video editing. It also packs the GTX 1050 graphics card from Nvidia with four gigs of VRAM. The 1050 is about 20% less powerful than the 1050 Ti, but still able to run most recent games on high settings at 1080p. Some cons here are that it's pretty heavy, coming in at 5.5 pounds, and the built-in microphone has gotten pretty negative reviews. So coming in at number four, we have the Lenovo Legion Y520. So Lenovo has really stepped up its game and has made some really great gaming laptops in the last few years. The Legion 520 is loaded with some really impressive features capable of running the latest AAA games at 1080p and 60 plus FPS with a GTX 1050 GPU. It also comes with an Intel Core i7 7700HQ, which is a step up from the i5 and 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM and also costs only 900 bucks. Some pros for this laptop are a good processor and graphics for the price, can run almost every recently released AAA title smoothly, accurate colors and contrast on the 15.6 inch IPS panel, thin and lightweight body, and a very responsive gaming oriented backlit keyboard. Some cons include a battery life that is below average and no mass storage included, only a 256 gigabyte SSD. Coming in at number three, we have the Dell Inspiron 7557. So this one's hosting a Core i7 7700HQ processor under its stealthy body. And the Dell Inspiron i5577 is a multitasking powerhouse with plenty of power for running any AAA game title released in recent times. So Battlefield 1, COD Infinite Warfare, Prey, Witcher 3, Forza Horizon 3, CSGO, and many others will run at a buttery smooth 60 FPS on high or even ultra settings thanks to the four hyper-threaded physical cores that can boost all the way up to 3.8 GHz from the base clock of 2.8 GHz. Having this many logical cores means that you can open 20 browser tabs, watch a movie, download games, and run a virus scan in the background all at the same time without a single hiccup or you can play the latest and most demanding games that you own thanks to the GTX 1050 4GB graphics card. Some pros for this laptop are a great price to performance ratio compared to similarly priced competing laptops, good portability, a sleek black and red color scheme, the touchpad is smooth and accurate, and the keyboard is tactile and responsive. Some cons are a mediocre battery life, below average webcam, and the display lid just feels a little bit flimsy according to users. Coming in in second place, we have the Asus VivoBook M580VD. So the sleek, stylish Asus VivoBook has a modern Intel Core i7 7700HQ quad-core processor which is supported by 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. It also has a dedicated NVIDIA GTX 1050 GPU that again runs most modern AAA games and easily runs high demanding photo and video editing software. It also features a matte 1080p full HD screen with 100% sRGB color gamut, but it is a TN display and not IPS, meaning that one's viewing angles will be average. And the battery life is also set to last around four to five hours, which is pretty mediocre. Pros for this laptop are a powerful Intel Core i7 7700HQ quad-core processor, it's well-priced, it has an SSD and hard drive combo, and it has a sleek and stylish design. Cons for this laptop are that it has a poor to average battery life, heating issues, and a TN display, not IPS. And lastly, we have my personal favorite from this list and my top recommendation, and that's the Acer Predator Helios 300. 
So this is my top recommendation for a budget laptop under a thousand bucks and it is a great package from Acer. The Helios 300 is powered by a KB Lake Intel Core i7 7700HQ processor and is backed up by 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. This will easily allow you to play your favorite games and will ensure that you can run even the most intensive applications with little to no lag. Pros for this laptop are that it has a KB Lake processor, a GTX 1060, an M.2 SSD, great performance, easy to upgrade the RAM and storage, and USB Type-C. Some cons for this guy are that it runs pretty hot under a heavy load, it has a small amount of storage space, not the loudest audio, poor battery life, and also not the brightest display. So there you have it, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite, and if you have had any of these, let me know what your experience has been in the comments below as well. And make sure to subscribe for future tech content, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.